Hi, my name is Pablo Navarro. I am doctoral fellow at the National Science and Technology Research Council of Argentina. And I will present sketch zooms, a deep multi-view descriptors for matching line drawings. This is a paper from Computer Graphics Forum published this year in collaboration with members of other scientific institutions from Argentina, in particular, the National Research Council CONICET, the National Technology University, YTN. Finding correspondences between images is a well-known problem in computer vision. In particular, Matching line drawings is a very challenging and underexplored problem due to, due to the diversity of styles, distortions in projections, and changing views that typically arise in sketches and hand drawings. In comparison with photographs, working with sketches comes with a lack of shape cues and key visual features such as shadows or textures. Additionally, projections are often rough and imprecise. Drawings are often made up of several overlapping strokes, which are generally rough and do not enclose the shape tightly. Strokes also change significantly among designers and artists, since this often constitutes their style and personal signature. In order to understand and communicate shape, designers often draw different views of the same object. This complicates finding local matchings, since the same region of an object can be represented by very different strokes when changing viewports. Some researchers have proposed custom descriptors to match line drawings. In particular, we identified two groups, handcrafted and learned descriptors. Handcrafted descriptors consist of applying custom transformation over the input data in order to obtain a global or local descriptor of a target image. For example, the work of Belogi et al. proposes to use radial histograms as local signatures of shape. In order to retrieve 3D models from a database using sketches, the work of Aids et al. builds global descriptors on top of a series of cover filters. The strength of these descriptors comes from their handcrafted nature, meaning we can customize them to adapt to a particular drawing style. However, this also makes them vulnerable to changes in orientation, projection, distortion, and shape variation, as is commonly seen in line drawings. In contrast, Learn descriptors are data-based and generally make use of deep learning techniques. This is probably because training these models require a large data set of densely correspondent sketches, which are very scarce. Most learned descriptors, such as MatchNet, focus on corresponding natural images patches. Others have proposed to learn descriptors from 3D models by capturing local shape features using multiple render views. By the time of this presentation, there is no literature proposing to learn local descriptors for matching line drawings. We therefore propose the following goals. First, we want to investigate how to use and apply deep learning techniques to solve the problem of finding correspondences between sketches. Second, in order to learn such networks, we need to find a solution for the lack of data. For this reason, we created a massive image data set consisting of synthetic line drawings rendered from 3D shapes. Finally, we aim to assess the effectiveness of our method. Therefore, we evaluate and compare it against handcrafted descriptors, targeting sketches, and data-based descriptors designed for corresponding natural images and 3D models. Moreover, we additionally perform a perceptual study against human established correspondences. Our first contribution is the creation of a dataset with over 500,000 synthetic sketches. This vast image dataset was created from ShapeNet Core, a repository with nearly 50,000 unique 3D models from which we selected 
10,000 distributed among 16 object categories. We additionally augmented this dataset with dense pairwise correspondences computed with the method proposed in Huang 2018. In order to produce synthetic sketches, we relied on a well-known apparent rigid non-photorealistic rendering algorithm, a good approximation to artist lines as shown in Where Do People Draw Lines from Cole et al. 2008. Data-driven methods for rendering sketches have recently been proposed. However, these algorithms are generally tied to a single category. For example, they are only capable of rendering faces. We therefore found it more appropriate to use apparent ridges in our context. Using these rendering engines, we captured thousands of images centered on the sampled point in our 3D model dataset. We took several snapshots using, using three viewports commonly found in design sketches and three zoom levels. Furthermore, we augmented this image dataset with matching information provided by the densely corresponding 3D models. In this way, for an image in our database, we can find all other images containing the corresponding point. In order to learn our image descriptors, we propose to use a framework based on a CIMS neural network. The input consists of a series of three images describing the local neighborhood of a target point. The goal is to learn an embedding which places corresponding points close together and pushes non-corresponding points far apart in the space. To train the proposed model, we used triplet loss, which has been shown to be very effective to learn this type of embeddings. However, for comparison and evaluation, we also train the same backbone architecture using contrastive loss. Both losses require to show to the network a set of corresponding positive and non-corresponding negative samples. Selecting the negative samples becomes increasingly difficult as the network learns. In order to speed up, we designed a mining strategy and built useful triplets on the fly for each training iteration. In practice, in order to find hard negative samples for a given training sample, we compute the descriptor and ignore the other candidates which are nearby in the unlearned embedding. We also ignore all candidates which are already very far away in the space, since the network has already learned to separate them as negative examples. Instead, we look for training samples lying inside a semi-hard margin area delimited by a parameter alpha. We compute the descriptors from raw input images using the last network training state. We implemented the network architecture in Python using PyTorch framework, and we initialized it using ImageNet's pre-trained weights. We trained three different state-of-the-art backbone architecture, AlexNet, BGG19, and ResNet18. We also tested sketch zooms on a number of hand-drawn images from the OpenSketch dataset to assess the generalization power of a network to unseen shape categories and styles. In addition, we conducted a perceptual study with human participants in order to assess the relationship between the semantics captured by our descriptors from synthetic data and the decisions made by humans when performing the same matching task on artificial sketches. OpenSketch is a dataset containing around, the, around 400 product design sketches from over 15 expert and novice designers. The images represent 12 man-made objects with different styles and viewports. None of them intersect the categories in our training dataset. Importantly, in our context, these images come augmented with 66,000 pairwise matchings which were also provided by the designers, between 8 and 10 per image pair. We then tested our network performance against this ground truth correspondences data. To further test the rotation invariance in our features, we randomly rotate all open sketch images between minus 19 and plus 90 degrees.
We tested our embedding space using cumulative MAT characteristics, CMC. This metric captures the proximity between points inside the embedding space by computing distances over descriptor pairs in two target images. The slide shows the CMC metric for three object categories. The curves correspond to each competing feature, shape context, galif, match net, and the descriptors proposed in the work of Huang 2018. As a baseline, we additionally included a sample PCA-based descriptor. Considering the reported metrics, we observed that our descriptors outperformed the risk team if none of the categories were in our dataset. Please refer to the paper for the complete evaluation metrics. In qualitative terms, our features were able to su successfully correspond the hand-drawing images in OpenSketch, despite being trained over synthetic renders. For each image pair, we highlighted five corresponding points distributed in different areas of the image. Overall, our learning descriptors managed to identify similar underlying local shapes, despite the extreme differences in style, hatching, shadow, construction lines, and camera positions. In addition, we performed a perceptual study to evaluate the relationship between the semantics captured by our descriptors from synthetic data and the decisions made by humans when executing the same matching task on artificial sketches. We recruited 10 study volunteers and presented them with four points over a synthetic sketch image origin. We instructed them to find the corresponding points in a given target image. We used a total of 40 random image pairs from our synthetic data set distributed on four categories, bug, chair, airphone, and mug. The future shows two pairs of images from our study data set. The top five correspondences found with each target descriptor are depicted in green, blue, yellow, and red. Additionally, we highlighted in purple heat maps the areas where the subject consensus was stronger. Overall, we observed all participants consistently corresponded points on target images within specific regions. Even if the correspondences obtained with our descriptors are closer to hot areas than those produced with our methods, we often find multiple semantically similar candidates on both sides of the vertical plane of symmetry, for instance, the headphones on the middle row. This aspect of our descriptors make them more robust and to arbitrary rotations and reflections. We also tested the capability of our descriptors to perform on images from other domains apart from our design sketches. We selected pairs of images from the dataset published by Jan et al. 2020 and computed dense matchings sampling between 400 and 1000 points per image. Here we show some of the correspondences retrieved using sketch zooms indicated by a green cross. Heat maps show the distance to the destination point in the feature space. Overall, our learned features produce plausible matchings, and more importantly, the distance field in feature space reveals a smooth embedding where semantically, semantically and geometrically similar points are close to each other. We also tested other sketch categories like fashion, architecture, and anime. Even if none of these sketch categories were used to train our model, our highly diverse training dataset allows this generalization to unseen sites and categories. In order to evaluate the effect of different architecture choices, we train our framework using two alternative architectures, BGG19 and ResNet18. Both methods were fitted from ImageNet weights using the same hyperparameter settings as with, as with AlexNet. ResNet18 performed poorly in our experiments, probably due to the lack of a stack of fully connected layers and the usage of global average pooling. 
We also found a slight improvement in evaluated metrics across the most object categories when using BGG19 architecture. However, this improvement comes at the cost of a much slower training due to a larger, larger number of parameters. We envision different applications for our descriptors. For instance, they could be useful to compute shape variations in order to allow the exploration of the design space between two sketches. These image morphing sequences often require highly reliable correspondences among sketches. Similarly, sketch zooms could be used to automatically segment and colorize semantic layers by training a classifier using our features for each pixel descriptor. These segmentations are useful in a number of applications, like adding deep information to line drawings or applying global illumination effects. Our results offer interesting future directions for research. For example, investigate, investigating whether is, it is possible to incorporate other views without introducing too much ambiguity in the descriptor space. In addition, we would like to explore how to incorporate semi-supervised hand-drawn images into the training to improve the generalization power of our descriptors. Finally, it would be highly beneficial to conduct further studies to better understand how humans perform matching tasks over line drawings. We also want to address the main limitations we encounter, often related with extreme lighting and rough construction lines. Symmetric objects can also damage the performance of our descriptors. Exploring ways to achieve actively involved users in refining correspondences would be an interesting future line to work. We have presented sketch zooms, the first local data-driven descriptor to compute correspondences in sketches. Approaching this task, was previously unfeasible due to a limited amount of available data. We have put together a vast collection of synthetic line drawings in 16 different object categories. More importantly, our learned characteristics generalized to a broad, broader spectrum of sketch styles and found correspondences similar to those found by humans. You can find code, trained models, and image data at our GitHub repository. In this repository, you will find the code to replicate the experiments. We also added a notebook in Google Colab, so sketch schemes can be tested without the need to retrain. Thank you for watching.